Younger me. Younger me. Younger me. There was a tiny frog perching on the window frame. It really highlights the countryside life. Our brekkie of the day. Seaweed wrapped mochi. Eggplant dish. Moon cakes. And special layered cakes. This mochi was wrapped in Japanese seaweed. And this one was wrapped in Korean one, which made it a bit salty. Today, we had a lot of schedule ahead. We're going to get some birthday cakes now. Our driver for the day. Helasis caught her off guard. We were getting some birthday cakes here. There were pumpkin decors on the entrance. Their display was really attractive. Here is their individual cake display. Look at the cakes. They're so neat and pretty. Each of them is carefully crafted. Simply beautiful. Can't believe such shop is in the countryside. It's a pretty modern patisserie. Pumpkin decorations mean Halloween is coming. Pumpkin related products are also sold here. I really love the Halloween color filling displays. They also sell cute little Halloween pouches. We're going to the food court in Yuzawa Station. Time to have lunch. It is a nice dining place. Let's have a sit. This was my lunch. It came with the pickled radish and a bowl of miso soup. The color of the dumbberry was so appetizing. Underneath the row was shredded omelette. Look how lustrous they are. Dazzlingly delicious. Bon appétit. Now we are going to visit our relative. It roughly took us 30 minutes to get there. In our relative's place, we were served with a lot of snacks. Look how beautiful they were decorating the table. Their matcha cake, some fruits, sweet and sour jelly, and a cup of green tea. The matcha cake was quite soft and not too sweet. The sweet and sour jelly was glistening. It came with salt. This was the first time I had jelly with salt. It got so much going on. The fruits were refreshing. Next to us, there was a small altar for praying to the ancestors. Everybody had fun trying out the snacks. I definitely had fun too. There is a historical museum in Yuzawa. The museum holds a lot of items from many centuries ago. These are ancient snow boots and old songs. A guest book from a long time ago. It was filled with so many handwritings. People from the old time wrote each word beautifully. The corridor is filled with historical items too. Old recorder, drawer, and letter. See some old toys and books from the past. Some hand-woven fabrics. Grandma explained that she wove them all by herself. There are also ceramics and pottery that she collected. Informative magazines and old currencies from centuries ago. Collected lacquerwares, pin cushions and fans. Ancient Japanese kickball. The Edo attires for the visiting daimyo and western clothing during the World War II. This section is set higher than the other area, as it was the place where the daimyo sat a long time ago. So much memories and history in this place. There are some ancient books, pictures and paintings. The emperor in the 80s. The replica of the seat for the daimyo. Pictures of Watanuki family's ancestors. Meet the 18th head of the Watanuki family. If you value and passionate about history, do pay this place a visit. The city of Yuzawa is lively and busy during winter. If you have a plan to go skiing and snowboarding, visit Yuzawa and stay at this inn. It is one of the oldest Japanese-style inns in Yuzawa. It is called Oyado Honjin. The place is filled and designed with Japanese artifacts, which I find it to be so fascinating. This is one of the rooms they offer. It has the mix of Japanese and modern ambience. Looking at the bedroom closely, it looks so inviting and relaxing. We can also close it with a sliding door. Quite a spacious room. Would love to stay in this room. There is an overall outside and comes complete with a basin and a toilet. There are four special rooms in the Oyado Honjin Inn. 
This special section is named Tatsugetsu Fuka, which is the name of each room. Through this corridor, we are going to have a look at one of the rooms, which is the Moon Room. The room as we come in. Under this bed is a tatami that can be slid out for an extra bed. There is an overall at door that is big enough to fit three adults. It has washing basins next to it. The room is equipped with the automated rolling blind and a luxurious pantry. Our dinner time! It's a Teishuku restaurant. This is the interior of the restaurant. We were served on a short leg table and sat on the tatami mat. My set meal came with tempura as the main dish. There was a slice of fish cake, dipping it in the sauce. There are also sweet seaweed dish and pickled radish. Have you ever tried natto? It's a fermented soybean dish that has slimy and sticky texture. It has an earthy flavor. Now showcasing the sets that the others had. Bon appétit! Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to motivate me. If the videos inspire you, please leave some comments to let me know what you think about them and please share them too. Thank you very much. I appreciate you.